Hey, what's going on, traders? Welcome back here to another video. Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you another YouTube video here. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about something here with trading that I wanted to go over with people. And really what it breaks down to is people always ask all the time, you know, what do they need to do? to stop losing how do they they just got into forex how do i make it in this um i want to be able to i don't want a nine to five job i want to be able to have my money work for me and really forex is uh one of those odd professions that can be very entrapping in the sense that you can pick up a, a chart or open up a 50 dollar account or do whatever um, to start trading with Forex and without knowing anything about anything, you can either click the buy button or click the sell button and chances are, well, I mean, is I guess it's a less than 50% or 50% chance, but chances are what usually ends up happening is somebody places a winning trade in one of their first few trades without ever knowing anything about trading and they over leverage they didn't use correct position size and they didn't know anything about it they just clicked the button and that fifty dollars turned into two hundred dollars or turned into 150 dollars or turned into seventy dollars within minutes hours whatever and they don't know how or why it happened but they just realized that they just made a lot more money a lot faster than they ever did before and most people now will think I have a special talent for this or this is something that I'm good at I can I can learn this fast um, you can't become a doctor or a lawyer and uh, one day just walk into an operating room not knowing anything and perform a surgery and get lucky and save someone um, Forex is very deceiving in that sense where you know Anybody can just pick it up and, and do something to generate that positive experience and that winning trade. And um, that's that's what traps a lot of people in Forex. A lot of people get into it, uh, put all their money into an account, or put a lot of money into an account, start trading, and quickly they realize they have no idea what they're doing. That first trade was purely luck. And the markets do what they want, take what they want. And don't give a shit and you'll start to realize quickly that uh, it isn't as easy as it seemed when you first click that button and essentially there's blown accounts and I talk to people on a daily basis that have lost all their money don't know what to do what do they do next how do they figure this out how do they learn to trade um, they're broke they're poor their family's poor they want to help everybody out they want to be rich they want to dig themselves out of this hole and Forex is their answer and to a lot of people, I say that's awesome. If you stick with it, put in the right amount of time, effort, investment, and everything, you'll you know it's very worth it one day. But for a lot of people, I want to just tell you right off the bat now: save the time, money, frustration, and and get a job, figure something else out that you love. Um, if you're coming to Forex trying to get rich, it's not going to happen. So really. What I want to do with this video is kind of just break down the reality of what it really is mindset wise in trading that kills so many traders early on. Um, trading, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have heard that trading is majority mental and a lot of you are probably thinking with all the different indicators and technical analysis and candlesticks and chart patterns and Fibonacci and trend line support and resistance and everything else out there news events in this country that country this currency that currency you have to be a genius rocket scientist uh to be able to trade forex and understand it and learn it and profit from it when in reality the the uh skill set required as far as a skilled knowledge basis standpoint um required for forex is very minimal the technical analysis and charting and trading strategy development and all essentially could be taught to a fourth grader or, or even younger probably. Um, you can teach this stuff to anybody with, with a somewhat developed brain that's not a, an infant. 
and it's pretty simple and basic stuff. Now, calculating in, uh, indicators and all that stuff, we have machines to do now. I, I, I'm not talking about that, how to calculate the um, exponential moving average lines and anything like that. That's, that's all statistics and mathematics, and I'm talking trading, technical analysis, developing a trading plan, following a trading plan, developing a journal, journaling. This is all very basic, basic things that anybody could do. So um, the 20%, so the 80-20 rule I have for trading is it's 80% mental, 20% skill, and this is the stuff that you can teach anyone. This is the stuff that a technical analysis book will teach you. Um, you know, you, you can learn any of these basic skills anywhere is online for free. What you can't learn online for free is how to then turn these skills into an actionable plan and a uh, routine and structure that can be tracked, that can be adjusted, that can um, identify the strengths and weaknesses, what's working, what's not working. And that's where, you know, finding a mentor that has been down the road and looking in, in back, like looking backwards, uh, hindsight's always twenty twenty. you can see what would have fast tracked your learning um, and really guiding you down the right path which is why I kind of developed my course but um, the 20% skill is really the part that most people overthink overanalyze overwatch they think that um, they need to be you know the the most advanced expert imaginable with analysis and they have to have 8,000 indicators and 700,000 levels of support resistance and trend lines drawn on their chart at once. They need 16,000 chart patterns to be memorized, 400,000 harmonic patterns to be memorized, making sure they, they have uh, the exact calculation of each wing of the bat. Um, all this stuff is really just a lot of it's stuff that's been developed online to sell for money trying to make trading seem so complicated and designing all these different algorithms and uh indicators and harmonics and all to make it seem so complicated and you have to spend so much money learning all these technical things when really it's not the case price action um you know candlesticks chart pattern structure market structure support resistance uh, these are all the things that create a trading plan that works now things that you can't just read in a book and learn things that take guidance and practice is the 80 percent it's the mental it, it, it's it's almost like comparing um working out if you want to like gain weight or lose weight yeah working out in the gym is very important you know running lifting weights cardio all that stuff is very important, but at the end of the day, if you're eating shitty, if you're not eating properly and fueling your body with the proper nutrients um, or lack thereof, you're not going to see the results you want. You could be the hardest gym rat imaginable. If you go home and eat garbage, you're not eating enough protein to gain weight, you're not eating enough carbs, you're not eating enough calories, or you're trying to lose weight and you're eating too much of that stuff, you're not going to see results. And if you do, they're going to be very minimal and very slow. And that 80-20 rule is comparable to this. You could be the best technical indicator reader, chart reader imaginable, but if you don't have the mental side of trading down, if you don't have the discipline, the self-control, and the mental components that are required to become a trader, you're not going to be able to make it at all. I don't care at all. If you don't have the mental mindset and discipline and, um, you know, grasp down to control your trading and, and uh, be an efficient trader, then it doesn't matter what strategy you have. It doesn't matter what analysis you have, what anything you have. It's not going to change a thing. So uh, what I want to do quickly here is go over the mental aspect and really just show you guys a quick example of just how true this is so let me see here all right so i'm just gonna uh go over and build a scenario here with you guys 
So a lot of traders get into this and they blow a lot of accounts. They constantly lose money. Um, they can't seem to figure out why. And I, I know you guys saw my trading frequency video I just made where I went over, over trading and how that can destroy a lot of accounts. But um, the real number one with paired up with over trading is risk management. Uh, improper risk management kills 99% of traders. And essentially, this is something that most traders know proper risk management. Um, at least traders that are in my chats or follow my analysis or anything, they see that I share the position size calculator from my FX book all the time, where you simply input the the uh, conditions, the criteria that it asks for, your account size, risk size, stop loss size, pair your trading, and uh, it calculates the exact position size you should have with the stop and entry you have in place to risk only X amount of percentage per trade. And I tell all you guys that I'll label this risk management, that you want to risk one to three percent per trade. So what does this mean? If I have a $1,000 account and I want to trade 3% per trade, I'm risking $30 per trade, right? So $1,000 account, risking 3% per trade, $30 per trade. Now I'm, I'm gonna drop this to 2% just for uh, a couple reasons. One, 2% is a much safer level when you're a starting trader. If you are risking 2% per trade, that means every winning trade, you should be getting at least 4%, right? Because we only trade two to one risk to reward or higher. So that means when you win, you should get 4%. When you lose, you should lose 2%, right? So every single trade you make, you should win 4% for winners, lose 2% for losers. Now, with that being said, most traders know this. Most traders understand this simple concept right here. They grasp it. You know, they get 1% to 3% risk per trade. Okay, risk 2% per trade, $20 per trade, $5,000 account. Now, understanding it and following it are two entirely different method, different in entirely different situations and things. So, understanding this would mean every single trade you make, you are only risking two percent, twenty dollars per trade, and this two percent is dynamic. If your account goes down to eight hundred dollars. So if you lose a bunch of money and your account goes down $800 and you're still risking 2%, that means you're risking $16 now a trade, right? So if you have an $800 account, risking 2% per trade, you have $16 loss, right? So this, this, Loss is a compounding type of scenario where if your account grows, you're risking more to gain more. And if your account shrinks, you're risking less to gain less. All in all, this 2% is what needs to stay consistent. That is a percentage of your portfolio. And that is how much you are risking per trade versus how much you are gaining per trade. And this remains consistent. So with this being said, like I said, most of you understand this, and this is a simple concept you can teach a second grader and they can learn this, right? So there is zero reason, if you understand this simple skill, for you to blow any account ever. You should never blow an account if you follow this. So if I have a thousand dollar account right? If I have a thousand dollar account and I'm risking 2% per trade, I would need to lose 50 trades straight 
to blow my account. Right? So 2% per trade times 50 trades to blow an account. That would mean you didn't win one trade. Now, for every one you win, it makes up for two you lose. So even if you win barely ever, and you have a horrible trading strategy, if you're following this risk management, you won't blow your account. Maybe over seven months of consistently doing this, you might run out of money. But if you consistently, and that would even be a long shot, that would even be like a statistical outlier beyond belief, like something that just is unbelievable. If you follow this risk management, especially while you're learning and you don't want to blow all your money, you're still learning all the psychological aspects of, of the fear of missing out, of the greed when you when you take profits too early, um, the fear when you stop your take your stop loss out too soon, and all this stuff. You'll still experience all that and get practice with that because it's live money, but you won't blow all your money. If you just simply followed this, if every trader I talked to who told me they've blown this many accounts, they've taken this signal service and blown this many accounts, this much money, I lost all this, I lost all that. If you simply would have the discipline to follow this and didn't veer off and lose a few in a row, and, oh, I need to make that money back. So you triple the size of your risk and you risk a 7% on a trade instead of two. And now you just dug yourself into a hole. Right now you just lost 7% of your account and you just made up for three straight losers plus in a row. So these are the things that cripple and destroy traders. And it all comes down to discipline, mindset, control. This simple risk calculator, even if you have the shittiest strategy in the world applied to an account, it's, it's not going to, it's, it's going to be very um, long before that account leads to that system leads to your account being blown let's take a hypothetical here let's say we take 10 trades seven are losers three are winners right so we do seven times two we lost 14 percent of our account right two percent risk per trade seven losers we lost uh 14 percent now, if we take three winners times 4%, we gained 12% of our account. So we have a net loss of 2%. So over 10 trades, losing 70% of your trades, you only lost 2% of your account. You lost $20 on a $1,000 account. You still have $980 left. After 10 trades, you lost seven of them. That's something that a poor strategy will do. Very poor strategy, but not over a long period of time. If you took that same shitty strategy and did 50 trades, I bet you you'd have a slightly better win ratio. You still might have 30% uh, to 40%, you know, something not much higher, but it'll probably be a little bit, statistically speaking, it'll probably be a little bit higher than that, which means even if you are maintaining that 30% winners, you're still only going to be losing that amount of percent of your capital. So where in this do you see where we should be blowing accounts? Where in here do you see that you should have a thousand dollar account and in three days it's gone? You shouldn't. If you follow these simple, simple rules that a monkey could be taught with a pencil and a piece of paper, then how are you going to if you if you just simply follow these, you're not going to be blowing accounts. You're not going to have this problem where all your money has gone and you keep losing money and you don't know why and you, you need help with your trading. Guidance and help is great and it's something I offer, but simply following stuff like this means so much, especially in a capital preservation standpoint. Preserving your capital is what most traders say is first and foremost on the level of importance. Without money to trade with, you're nothing. So preserving that capital means even more than growing that capital. Yes, you're in this to grow the capital and there's no point in doing it without growing it. But you have nothing to trade if you lose all your money. So preserving your capital 
comes first and foremost. And um, this is the most simple concept, but foolproof with doing so. Even just, just checking out a simple example here, you guys can see how powerful just following a simple set of rules, not having anything to do with your trading. Your trading plan and your strategy and your development is something totally different. In my course, I go over all that in exact detail, how to develop your own strategy. I give you my exact strategies I trade as examples to either build on or use, and uh, it's built around you developing your own strategy. But even if you throw a strategy out the window, you take any Joe Schmo strategy you just bought on uh, itrademillions.com and you apply it to your trading. Even if it's just some shit strategy somebody wrote on a piece of paper and then put for sale online, you still will take a long time to blow your account if even you do trading that way. Most traders that take this seriously and progress, they go from being a losing trader for a long time to learning the proper tools and aspects of trading to then becoming a break-even trader for a while. A break-even trader is no different of a trader than the losing trader before him, except he learned and developed control. He got sick of losing all that money and blowing all those accounts and decided to take it a little more seriously. And by deciding to take it a little more seriously, they started enforcing position size risk management because everything you read everywhere tells you this is what kills traders. So when you take that next step forward and you decide to start taking seriously your risk management, typically you become a break-even trader. And that is when your strategies are shit and you haven't developed and tested one that's profitable yet. However, your risk management and your control is getting better. So you're not losing all your money. You're learning while you maintain even or slowly lose your account, but still not anything where you should be worried about blowing an account. So this is where you want to get to as fast as possible as a trader. You're going to take a long time to learn and probably lose money, but the maximization of your learning curve as well as preserve, perseverance, preservation of your capital is going to be done by simply doing this. Simply taking control of your risk and enforcing simple rules will change everything for the capital standpoint of your trading, for how quickly you're blowing accounts. No, you're not going to get rich doing this off the bat. This is not something you get into Forex with a $1,000 account and you make enough money to quit your job. That's not how Forex works. Even if you see that this is working out, 4% per winner, 2% per loser, if you have a positive winning strategy, you have a decent growth percentage, but even if you're growing 10% per month, which consistently is a ton of money, that's $100 a month with a $1,000 account. Nobody's living off $100 a month. You need to grow your capital and have a bigger account. But then we get to a $100,000 account, we're making $10,000 a month for what? Placing a few trades a week, a day, a month, and we're making $10,000 a month on just having a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand in the account. Yeah, just a hundred thousand dollars. Obviously, no, a hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. But hypothetically speaking, down the road, if you have grown or you got an inheritance or whatever and had a hundred thousand dollar trading account, you went to a prop trading firm and you could make ten thousand dollars a month just from trading. That's huge, but that takes a long time. It takes capital and that takes a long time. And it's not going to happen overnight. And that's the truth of trading. So the purpose of this video was basically just to bring some light to this aspect of the psychological portion of trading. I'm not going too far into detail. Um, if any of you guys, you know, want help, let me know. Reach out to me. I'll help you all I can. Um, I have a course that shows all the proper guidance and steps to take. And it's really in depth. But, you know, I'm always here to answer questions with or without you being a student of mine. I'm here to help. I, uh, I've been trading for a while. I've learned a lot. I trade with professionals. Um, I do analysis for a big trading company. I've got almost six years of experience with this stuff. I went to college for international business. So the fundamental side of the markets I'm very familiar with as well. So uh, I'm not just some random Joe Schmo making these videos, guys. I, I'm not an expert. 
I'm not going to ever consider myself an expert because this is something where you're constantly learning and changing and adapting and evolving. However, I do consider myself experienced. I have traded professionally and still do. So um, I am teaching and talking about all this out of examples from my life. I knew how to use this proper risk management tool for well over a year into my trading when I continued losing and losing and losing way more than the risk management calculator would have allowed me to. So I wish I would have had this drilled into my brain way early on in my trading and would have actually had the discipline to follow it, which is what a lot of you, no matter what I say, won't be able to do. But the select few that do, it is going to make a huge difference. And even if it takes you a while to figure this out, that doesn't mean there's no hope. I'm convinced that anybody in this industry, anybody could make it in this industry. You just have to put in the time and honestly stick with it is the biggest thing. You can't give up. It's just like anything else in life. You cannot give up. And with a skill like this, a profession like this, it takes 10,000 plus hours to, to get down. And then from there, it takes constant learning and studying to continue to stay on top of the game and stay on top of yourself as a trader and your plan. So it's not easy. It's not impossible. Reach out to me if you guys have any questions. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you have any opinions or ideas for any new ones, please let me know and I will certainly get to it. But for then, for now, um, this is a little video I want to make on traders mindset and, uh, you know, the mentality behind how to survive as a trader through the early years and eventually evolve into that break even and evolve into that profitable trading. All right, guys, I hope you can relate to this video. I hope it was some help. Please subscribe to the page if you like what you see. Enable notifications so whenever I upload a new video, you're notified. Um, I really appreciate the support from you all checking out the page, watching these videos. Uh, hopefully you're in my free chat as well and we talk in there. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.